her not being here, it, it still stings. Her future was very bright. A graduating senior suddenly gone. Zoe Salinas was just days away from receiving her high school diploma when Fresno police say she was shot and killed by her boyfriend. Family members are now opening up about their loss and the questions they have for the man charged with Zoe's murder. Thank you for joining us this evening for this special edition of Action News. I'm Margo Kim and I'm Jessica Harrington. In a story you'll only see on Action News, family members describe Zoe as a collector's item, one of a kind. They say it's hard to believe the young woman with such a bright future has now become a victim of deadly domestic violence. To have her not here, it, it really hurts. Zoe Salinas's family is still trying to come to terms with the fact that she's gone. The 18 year old Duncan Polytechnical High School senior was set to graduate Tuesday night. Instead, her sister received her diploma in her place. That was a very uh, special night and it was also pretty rough because she was supposed to be there. Fresno police say Zoe was shot and killed by her 19 year old boyfriend, Jose Contreras. Authorities say the two got into an argument in a car that led to the shooting. Contreras has since been arrested for Zoe's murder. Doug Langenfeld, Zoe's uncle, says Zoe and Contreras dated throughout high school and he never saw any major problems between them. Every time I, I saw the kid, he was he was respectful. Um, he spoke, you know, we chatted, laughed, joked. It just makes it more gut-wrenching that this happened when it shouldn't. Judy Badillo, Zoe's aunt, says the 18-year-old had plans to go to Fresno State. She says Zoe always wanted to help others and was certified as a nurse's assistant, hoping to one day become a pharmacist or a veterinarian. She's so kind-hearted. Um, she had a big heart. Family members say Zoe was headed to the gym with Contreras the night she was killed, something the two did together often. They don't understand how it escalated to violence. I think the, the, the greatest question is why? For now, the family is putting their faith in the justice system and working to make sure Zoe's legacy lives on. We lost a, a treasure that we can never get back, but her value will always be high. Contreras, the alleged shooter, remains in custody. He's due in court next month. Zoe's family says they are so grateful for the outpouring of support. They have created a GoFundMe to help with funeral services. We have a link to that on our website at abc30.com. If you are the victim of domestic abuse or you know someone who is, there is help available around the clock. In Fresno County, call the Marjorie Mason Center. In all other locations, call the National Domestic Violence Hotline. Both numbers are on your screen.